Welcome to our discussion today once again. Today we are looking at a topic, uh, a discussion, if I may say, because I want you to write in the comment section and, and let me know your views. Now, I have uh, had stories of women who come up and they are like, oh, uh, oh, I'm married to this man. I'm doing everything that I need to do. I am working so hard. I have the money. I dress uh, to impress him, but he never looks my way. I wear my makeup, but he never even comments. And they, someone will really show you that they are doing everything within their power. But the person they are doing them for doesn't even get, give any attention to the energy that this person is putting in. Now, in my opinion, I want to ask you, why should a relationship be a one-way traffic? That you know it is the woman who is doing everything that they need to do. They are putting in all the effort and then they are trying so hard to attract the attention of this man. Now, we're going to look at the three mistakes that me, women make in trying to impress men. And I will guarantee you, you can never impress a man. The three mistakes that you make that will cause this relation to go from the relationship to go from bad to worse and then to, to being isolated. But before I go into the three reasons, allow me to thank you so much for the 1,000 subscriptions. All of you who have subscribed, thank you. Thank you so much. All of you who have not yet subscribed, but you're viewing and you're giving us the watch hours, thank you. Thank you so much. I am grateful. I appreciate you. You are my champions. Okay, back to our topic of discussion. What are those mistakes make that women make that cause these men not to appreciate them, the men to be turned off, the men to take you for granted, yet this person was in love with you before? Reason number one, try not to impress a man because you will never succeed. The person you need to impress is you. Yes, you. How do you impress yourself? A lady who has love for themselves, first of all, you will do the things that make you happy. Now, when you are happy with yourself, you will definitely attract happiness around you. You will be sending out positive vibes to the people around you. And people will not uh, help themselves, but they will all desire to be around you. How do you make yourself happy? Dress in a way that pleases you. Don't dress for the man. If you're working on your weight, if you want to be big, be big because you want it. Don't be big in size because you are doing it for someone. If you want to be small, be small for yourself because that is what makes you happy. Don't do it for another person. Now remember, the moment you are happy with yourself, you will attract happiness and celebration and love and admiration from everyone around you. And so will be your man. Now, number two, when you try too hard to impress, when you try too hard to impress, you look so desperate. You will sound desperate, you will be so desperate, and you will choke life out of a man. Men don't appreciate people who try so hard to impress them. Just do the things that you know are right. Have you agreed with him? He says he loves you long hair or he doesn't love uh, long hair. He, he loves you with short hair. Agree with him. Make a compromise somewhere that you will pick on what he likes and you will do what you like and you will be in that safe position. So don't try so hard because you will choke life out of him. The more you try to bring him to hold, to, do, to keep him in that position where you want him, the more he will try to break loose and to break from your cage and to walk away. 
So let him be free and be yourself. Don't be disparate. Now, number three, you changed your personality. The moment you change your personality, uh, maybe if you can remember when you were talking, when you first made the conversations were casual, uh, you, you complimented him, uh, you appreciated the little things that he did, you gave advice in with a gentle spirit, and the things that you did really made you to be fun to hang around. He really loved hanging around you. So the moment that you change and you become somebody else, you want to play the position of his mother. You want to mother him. You want to dictate to him what he should do. You want to uh, make you become a self-made accountant. You want to know every single coin that he has spent in a day. I guarantee you, you're going to struggle so much. You're going to stress. You're going to. It's going to be a one-way uh, traffic of a relationship because the man will definitely want to be away from your presence. He will want to stay at work for as long as it takes. He will not want anything to be around you. He will be so scared of you. And so what do we do as ladies? Remember never to be desperate. Remember to be that person that is fun to hang around. Okay, it's quite hot here. You can see I'm sitting. Be the person that is fun to hang around and be the best version of yourself. And when you do that, you will not be struggling for attention. You will be not be struggling and hustling to be loved. You will not be, you know, being uh, emotionally drained in the relationship. It will be a two-way traffic because he will respond to what he receives from you. Then there are some men who unnaturally, they pick, they play around with, and they ignore. You do not have to stress. Stay in your comfort place. Live in your comfort position. Be the best that you can. If he ever realizes that he's losing something of value, then he will come back to you. And uh, I will conclude by saying, try to be happy with yourself. Do everything within your power to impress yourself. The rest of the people will be attracted to the version of yourself that you're really so happy with. Thank you so much. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe. If it is your first time, subscribe. If you have subscribed before, that's enough. Uh, thank you so much and God bless you. See you some other time.